Well, hello, Kegger here from Kegger Outdoors. I got a new gadget for the van today. And so on my last trip I just took, I took these two coolers with me. I love this steel belted Coleman cooler. I've had it for 20 years. But after 20 years, so I even added a light to it. It's starting to separate, even though I've glued it. Contacted Coleman about it, and even though it's a lifetime warranty, I don't have the original receipt. So they're not going to honor it. They're going to give me a cheap plastic blue one, which I already have a couple of, and I don't want one of those. What I got at a garage sale 12 years ago or so for 10 bucks was this cool old school Coleman cooler and I liked it because you could put your ice in here and then um, you could, then when it melted you can drink the water but I would use this for my veggies and this one for my drinks and the condensation would drip all over my veggies and if it built up even there's a little lip it would come out and get on the floor so that was a no-go for me anymore, especially after the last trip, you know, two bags of ice would last maybe day, two days in 85 degree weather in my van. Yes, I know it was warm in my van, uh, but it just didn't work out for me. And then having to get ice and draining it when you're in the city, I always can find a good place to easily drain it. Bonus about drain about the water is you always have water for your dogs. That's always cool. So I have gone from two of these to the brand new Set Power RV 45S 12 volt refrigerator. There we go. 12 volt. DC capacity 45 liters 46 pounds so it's not light um, product dimensions there we go so you can read it all right there made in China well, I thought it was kind of interesting on my uh, credit card statement that I bought this with uh, the name that the company was Iceco so do they have something to do with it if you know Leave a comment down below, and so everybody can know if the uh, ice is part of this set power refrigerator. Uh, let's open this up and show you exactly what it is. Here it is. Finally got it. Cycle. Straps. It's weird from this angle, I guess these are on a motorcycle helmet. Exactly a box inside of a box like a minimum like the Jackery was, but this is pretty cool. Nice hard plastic corners, cardboard, foam, lots and lots of foam. Pretty foam. Now I got foam that I do stuff with. In the bottom, just to fall right off. <laughs> Good drink holders, make your own little holder somehow. Okay, look how pretty that is. Look how pretty. 
pretty that is. All right, you're excited as I am. Boom. Look at that. See, that's great, two little baskets. So, let's take the baskets out. These are great, because that way you can fill them in your kitchen and then just take them and just place them right in here especially if you have this out in your van or something. So, for those who are wondering, actual internal height is just a little under seven inches in this little compartment and runs about seven inches. And just about, well, you get that 10 inches for that main compartment or the small compartment and the big one. We are looking at 14 and a half. It's probably about as full as you want. This little lip will go right down in here. So 14 and a half by 14. And, you know, just like the other side, by about 10 and a half. Not too bad. Oh, let's see if we got a little, little light here. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I will hook it up to my jackery so you can see how much power it draws and everything because that's how I'm going to be running it. Um, so, let's see what we got. Let's just put you right on top of it. There we go. All right, so what comes in the box? The usual stuff. Manual. Of course, I'll read. Because I'm like that. Then you got your 12 volt cigarette lighter. So, what I was going to do is have this plugged in with the 110 volt. Do all these are changes. In, oh yeah, this goes into there, then that goes into there, and then this goes to that. Oh, I'll show you later. Um, get it all cold and set up, and then. Put it in the frit in the in the uh, van, and then when I start driving, just plug this into the regular 12 volt. When I'm driving a long distances, then once I get to a rest stop or something, I can unplug this and plug this into the jackery just to keep it up and running. So I got this a couple days ago. Wow, well, I hate when you actually press for the volume button and it stops the camera. It's stupid. At times, I just don't move around much. So, here's your fuse the 15 amp fuse, like a regular car fuse. Um, I like it's metal, and uh, you can, I mean, if you wanted to, you can remove those. There's hinged or spring loaded. I will have it strapped down by this um, by the tie outs in my van. That's why I kept my, my put my tie outs back in. Oh. Okay, I know you're all really interested in how, how much or what will fit in here. So let's just put the baskets. Oh, there it is over here. And so with the basket, so this is one of those. Big container, 16 ounce, so one pound, so it's, you know, pretty good size. Let's see. That will fit right down in there. Perfect. Look at that. Perfectly fit. Or if you wanted to, you can have it upright and go that way if you wanted to. One of the things that I have over here is this nice, what are these, 16 ounce? Beers, look at that. Fit right in there. No problem. Even stand up right in there. How about one of these 22 ounce? Nope. 
Well, stand up won't lay that way, but it will, of course, lay this way. And you can do stack them up like that if you really want to get a whole bunch of beer in there. And look at that, that will close just fine. Just move that so it doesn't get shaken up. Hey, okay, got your chicken stock. One quart. Of course, it won't stand up, but it can and easily lay down inside. And easily fit down in there, no problem. I am so ecstatic on this. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I'll take these things out and I'll show you what how things run with the Jackery. Here's the Jackery 1000. See, it's at 100%. Can you see? There we go, 100%. And directly into there and just slide out a little bit right like this a lot of times one two okay well first impressions the only thing I think is a drawback to this is that the cord has, is coming out this way why can't it go out that way you need to change the fuse you just unplug it pull out change the fuse and go from there but i think this having going this way you know this cord coming out here because then it's going to be bent if it's going if you have in the back here like that or something that i think is a could be a better better design but still very st stoked i'm going to read some instructions now all right before i go and Start it all up. Let's go out into the garage. And this is what's nice, like I was saying, about the little holder here. This little basket. Let's put yours in here. These are all the beers that are left over from my last adventure. Two, four, six, eight beers in one little basket. So if I'm going to be turning it on, I might as well have something beneficial for myself for doing all this work. Right? Right? Of course. Okay. Let's set that on there. Look at that. Perfect. And can we get you? Oh, we can get another one. No problem. Oh, look at that. Nine 16 ounce beers. No problem. Awesome. It's good for a few days. Easy. Oh, I am so happy. I'm so happy. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Enough playing around. <laughs> so here's one of those little funny things that I think is kind of interesting. So if you want to use the 110 volt, you have to take this cord, plug it into the box. Plug this, of course, into the jackery or into the wall. Then you have to take this and put that into there. Then that is connected to the set power. It seems to be a lot of wires. Why couldn't it just be this? here this one cord here with that hmm. thoughts answers i don't know okay so but for now let's plug that in let's see we'll turn that on who lights on Ooh, party light party 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 Set the battery protection at 
to medium, maximum, it goes two, four, six, eight, that's one now. Let's go 30 degrees. We'll run that and see how long that will take. And so you can see it is drawing 36 watts on max on medium battery. And it says it's 59 degrees inside right now. And we're going to uh, see what it gets to, how long it takes to get it to 30. 29 degrees difference. And it is, hey, there go, it's 12, 12. So, get back to you when it has gotten up to, or down to temperature that I want. And like I said, well, Jackery's at 100%, so we will see what it's at in the three hours, four hours it takes to get it down. Awesome. I am so happy to have this right now. I cannot explain it. I can say it, but you just don't understand. After all that water and ice the last fiasco and just throwing away food because the condensation falling on everything and just heating up. This is gonna be wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so it's 12.43, so just about a half an hour. Remember it was at 59 degrees, I set it to 30. And if you look now, it's already down to 41 in a half an hour on a 12 volt. And so it's drawing. Let's turn the light on so you can see a little better. So 50 watts, and it's only used 2% to get it down to 41 from 59. That's pretty good, I think. What do you guys think? Uh, it's doing better than I thought it was going to. I'm really happy on that. Yeah, we'll see what it's like in another half an hour. Ooh, now it's dropped down to 39. So it's going to be there before I know it. Probably less than a half an hour. It's 12.53. And it... Hi, Rascal. How you doing, buddy? The... Fridge, the compressor turned off because it's at 30 degrees. I mean, that didn't even take an hour for it to. So now it's just sitting there idling. It's drawing two watts and it only took 3% to get it from 59 to 30. Oh, yeah, what's this? Let's back up a little bit. That one pops real nice. This one, yeah, not as strong, which is fine. You can definitely feel the coldness in there. They're cool on the outside, like as you can see. Not frost there. So that's at 30. Now let's see if it'll stay at, you know. 28 to 32, the fluctuation points for it. And uh, in a couple hours, those beers will be nice and cold. Stoked. And if any of you guys are like me and you just can't stand the crystal clean surface, then you gotta support one of your favorite YouTubers, Chrome and Cruise at Van City Van Life. Weirdos Unite, Van Life Baby. So that's gonna be the first one going on. 
I've been watching Chrome for over three years now, from when he was just living out of a little plastic uh, drawers with his clothes hanging on the side of his van on the inside to now where he's got his full build out. It's been awesome to see. And back when he had his dog Disco. So, oh, looks like that. Okay, I didn't know that. There's the outside of it. <laughs> now they were laser cut like that, so sweet. You gotta be a little weird and be at an angle. Never go straight. Always go forward. Shout out to you, Chrome. Fan City Van Life, baby. Okay, here it is. Almost 2.15. Remember I started at 12.15. I started chilling it. And remember I came down and here it is still at 30 so that's two solid hours and it's only gone down five percent in two hours and of course the first three percent was just getting it cooled off to the 30 degrees so that's really nice and yeah nice and cool inside Beers are getting colder. And the beers were at room temperature in the garage. So they all take a few hours to get, get chilled all the way. So that's where we're at right now. Three degrees, 5% for two hours. All right, 8.03 in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Oh, yeah. So, here we are. We are still here with the 27 degree refrigerator going at max. And this is all at max. I did not change anything. Mid and max the whole night. And so, 8 in the morning. That is 20 hours. And look, only 71%. I mean, there is 71% left in the Jackery. So I think you could definitely, if it's not too hot in your vehicle, van, garage, cabin, wherever, you could do this refrigerator at 30 degrees on a max. I'd, I'll try it. I'll switch it to uh, whatever it's called <laughs> minimum uh, when I'm on my road trip. Um starting tonight or tomorrow and see but you could get two days out of the jackery 1000 on a nice 45 liter 12 volt fridge uh, that that's fine that's fine with me i i like that that is great okay if you got the solar power let's see my pressing buttons no you got solar power you can hook it up if you got the 12 volt uh Recharger for the Jackery, have that plugged in and use the 110 cord to uh, keep the fridge going while you're driving long distances. That's probably what I'll be, that's how I'll have it uh, during the daytime and during driving. Uh, and then otherwise solar, you could have the solar plugged in and the fridge plugged in at the same time. And I think, I think it, it doesn't do a pass through. Uh, so that's bloody awesome. Okay. So I think this will be the end of this video, unless I add more while I'm on my journey. Um, don't forget, smile, you're alive, you get to enjoy the beautiful outdoors, your friends, your family, and now we're going to be able to start opening up and going to movie theaters and concerts and all that. Oh, I can't wait for some concerts. Oh, I'm going to go to a lot more of them than once it's completely opened. Oh, than I have in the last few years, so uh, I gotta. Okay, everybody, enjoy your day. Bye.